Hey my friend, Will here over at Pips and Gains and welcome back. Uh, today's video we're going to go over a very, very simple uh, day trading strategy for the European and uh, US sessions and it's using my TRFX indicator for TradingView which you'll be able to access for free by watching this full video. So before we get into the video, if you are new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed yet, simply hit the subscribe button now to show your support and I'm going to minimize my camera here and head over to trading view and okay so <clears throat> This is we're going to look at the euro usd but it does work in many other pairs okay first thing we want to be doing for the day because we're coming into the yes our european session here the first thing you want to be doing is analyzing the current trend okay as you can see we are currently up very bullish on the daily if we look at the four hour okay the four hour is bullish also so what we want to do then is zoom down into, you can use the five minute or the 15 minute charts. And you want to be only looking for the indicator to give buy signals. Okay, like this. The buy signal, buy signal here, going with the trend. This happened a few minutes ago. The five minute charts, 15 minute charts is similar. Yeah, you get a lot more signals in the five minute charts. Now, what I'm gonna do is just have play back some history. So let's go over to the daily charts. And very, very basic strategy, just going with the trend and using the indicator to get in, but I'll show you the actual rules of the <clears throat> Okay. So Go to the five minute charts here. <clears throat> now again, we are only trading European session, so this kind of starts a couple of hours ago. So we just want to fast forward this to and make sure you watch the video to the end to learn how to actually access the indicator for free to use with this uh, strategy. Okay, so start of the day, 6 a.m. GMT. And what we want to do first is analyze the current trend. Clearly on the daily charts, we are down. If we look at the four hour chart. Short term up, but long term we're down. So we should be looking to look for a retracement and looking to sell the market in this European session. You can only identify the trend on both the daily and the four hour in every uh, trading session. So first R, we just watch the market, see what it does. Okay, and what we wanna do now is wait for sell signals with the indicator. And I'll show you how to trade this and where to take profit, where to put your stop loss. Okay, it looks like our first signal. Okay, so that's our first signal. Now, what we want to what we want to be doing is entering a trade on the close of this candle. Make sure the the sell signal stays. Enter at close. Enter a signal a, a trade on the close. Stop loss. You want to the first target's going to be this previous swing low, and the second target is going to be a new low. So, uh, because we're in the <clears throat> Let's see if I can get a short trade for this. So, it's going to be 
Target in a low stop loss. You just want to measure. Okay, is it going to be in real time? So you just have to uh, stop loss is going to be. So it pips. So you just want to stop loss above here. Okay, and first target. So we're going to enter two sales. One, two. First target is here, and then the second target is a new low. So let's see how this plays out. Tight stop loss. Okay, just get out of the mark when the mark goes above these highs for a tight stop loss, and we'll hit play here. Okay. Okay, that was a stop out. Okay, this could be our second signal. We'll just hit play again here. If it is, just a the Okay, so again, stop loss is going to be above here. First target, we want to be targeting this first low here, and then a new low. So we'll just uh, add the short. We enter and close this candle. We want to be targeting long term down here. Short stop loss around. A new high. Uh, get some water. And we'll just hit our double sale here. One, two. And then hit play. Okay, so we'll just pause it there. As you can see, that hit our first target down here. Okay, then the last target, so we take some of the profit off. Our stop loss should now move down to entry, so the trade is now risk free. And we want to stop, we want to take the profit. Let's see how far this can drop down. <coughs> Okay, so as you can see, that hit our second target. We pierced the new low, and we'll just take that off. And now we hit play again and wait for another sell signal. Remember, I think around lunch, 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock, or 12 o'clock to 2 o'clock is so lunch hour. So basically, around after, once this gets to 12 o'clock, we kind of want to stop trading on a European session day. And then wait for the the US session. We're tracing back up and a sale gonna happen. Okay, this could be our next sale, no. So I mean you have to wait for the candle to close. Cause this could be it here. Okay, so here's another sale signal. Okay. Now what we want to be doing here, the first target's one gonna be 108.57. Uh, okay, this last low. And stop loss, we can because it's a 20 pip target, we can have a little bit, we can have above these highs here, uh, maybe 10 or 12 pips. So, this would be the entry here. Kind of want to give us a little bit of room. Sometimes the market will spike up and maybe take out the highs. And then first target's going to be here, and then second target is going to be here. So, we'll just enter our double sell again. This will be the last trade of this European session. We'll just hit our double sell and then we will hit play.
getting ever so close oh, there we go it's dropping again these are probably good sell signals up here also but we're already in this trade down here sometimes it's just letting the market play out could have had a tighter stop and then re-entered these uh, next sell signals again we're going with the, the trend here and that is us stopped out okay happens we're in the lunch hours here so we'll just pause it for we'll double check our trend again you can see short term the short term 4 hour is up The daily is still down, so you know this daily candle is green. I'll be still inclined to look for sales in this European, uh, US session. Okay, we'll hit play. <clears throat> right, looks like the start of the US session here now. Okay, so this is a sell signal. Now, good for a quick five pick scalp to here and then a new low. Stop loss, you really want above this high here. So we'll just, uh, I'm gonna be entering here, down here, a new low, and kind of run the, above this spike here. Okay, more or less a one to one, this one. Okay, then we hit play. <clears throat> okay, you'll take the first one off on the new low. Just hit pause here. Uh, next, we want to move our stop loss down to entry price. <clears throat> and the play, kind of just want to get a new low here. First target was this quick five pips here, and then a new low. So we'll kind of have hit our second target. Uh, we could target further down here. Well, let's see if the market drops here. So we are breaking out of this top range. Hit play. Okay, now I'd be in time to close that now and wait for our next uh, signal. <clears throat> so you can see not every trade is going to be profitable, but again, we're going with the trend and you're using tight stops, 10 pip stops. So this could be another snow. <clears throat> and again, it's just all about waiting for the correct signal. Okay, so we've got another sales signal here. Now, uh, let's explain the stop loss a little bit more. So we want to be entering market here. First target's gonna be this low here, or this swing here, and then second target will be a new low likely down here. Okay, so the first target to take profit off move is the previous swing low on the sell position. <clears throat> kind of stop loss, if you measure that. 15 pips, so you wanna have it above these highs here. Could go a little bit more up here Again, what is the price? Yeah, that's 10 pips. So we could do that up here. Just give you that bit of rim in case there's any uh, mini spikes up the just stop hunts. Hit play.
Now, what I didn't do there was hit the, the trade, but we can just watch it to see it play out here. <clears throat> we are slowing down towards the end of the uh, session here. Which will be around this time here. Okay, so that's kind of the end of the day. You can see the price is uh, getting choppy here. This one would have been uh, a three pip loss, okay, which is nothing. That day would have ended up nice and profitable. We'll just delete that. What we want to do now is go to the next day. We'll do another. Uh, again, you can de test this uh, method yourself. Works very good. We'll just do another day here. So if we fast forward, and you can see how price action moves in this during the Asian session, and uh, So, first thing we want to do is check the trend. You can see daily is starting to go down again. We're red, going with the higher time frame trend, four hour chart. Again, it's still bullish short term. Uh, again, I reckon this is just, this will go bearish very, very soon. So. Four hours bullish and daily is bearish. Tending to go with, just look at the five minute charts here. Be looking to sell this, this session. I just want to see how it works out in the first hour, see how the market starts going. So six to seven, we just want to see how the market uh, starts to move. Okay, looks like we're starting to sell. This would have been <clears throat> okay, we're only looking to sell. Okay, and super simple method. Just use the indicator. So I'll show you how to get in a minute. Test it. And go with the trend. Okay, this could no, it's not another signal. The short term does look bullish here, and the four hour chart is probably still gone up. So I just want to be cautious here taking sales. I always want to be analyzing the market too, but I think this will be the sell trade here. We want the stop loss above here. Uh, first target will be here, and then second target will be down here. And just explain why. So short position, boom. You want a stop loss, tight stop loss just above this high. And I know it is going against the short term, but again, we want to be trading with the higher time frame daily chart here. Uh, second target we want down here, first one here, and then second one here. So just hit play. All right, that was a stop out.
happened there. <clears throat> okay, so here's our next signal. Target down here. First target we want to kind of be down here, these highs, second down here. So one to one, hit to sales, and then hit play. And Marcus moving slow again. Looks like it's forming the top here, getting ready to break out. We're still in this trade, it hasn't been stopped out yet. We'll just zoom in in a minute. See how this trade plays out. And we're in the lunch hours. Market slows down. <clears throat> a lot of sell signals coming in, which is kind of a good sign. Okay, so this looks like the first target here. Okay, yeah, that was the first target. If you just scroll back, first target. I'm going to assume in this trade was here. So, yeah, the trade was there. This is the entry. First target was here. So, what we want to do is take 50% off and move our stop loss to entry point, make the trade risk free. And Kind of want to follow this down here. Second target, we want to see if it go down here, up into this level, possibly a little bit further. We could trail the stop as it, or as it moves down. But again, we just wanted this here, new low. So we hit play. <clears throat> okay, and that was the second target there okay well more, more or less it hasn't hit it yet so but it looks like it is second target is around here so we'll just hit play you can see it's more or less hit it there now or good sales so see now the game we entered here put the stop loss just above these highs over here did spike up again that's what I said you have to put it just out of the way so it doesn't these spikes don't happen and then just let the market uh, work out we're going with a higher time frame trend again so we hit play here looking to for another sell it's <clears throat> the start of the Yes, session here. Okay, so now this is another sell trade. <clears throat> I'm not sure what news would have been out here, but this looks like it was maybe a news event. So just have to be careful just when news is coming out. But again, we're just for the sake of hindsight, we're just going to say this is a short. We'll be entering here. First target is this low here. Uh, one, so a 10 pip target, uh, a one to one of these highs. 
I don't want to type just above this high because the market might spike up and take that high there. <coughs> and then we want to see if the market can get a new low here. But again, if this is in real time, this may be news and you just want to stay clear. 15 minutes either side of news events. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be stopped out. And what I didn't do there was enter the sales trades. No, it didn't. Okay. So we can just enter them now. So one, two. It didn't enter the sales on that. So this is roughly around the entry price. First target here. Okay, so that was the first target hit there. Okay, these lows. Now, again, as you can see, what I mean, what I mean about putting the stop loss above these highs, slightly above it, just so these kind of spikes don't pop up and take out your stop, because what likely is people are putting their see this level here, that people are putting their stops above this here. So you just want to kind of watch out for that. Okay, so we want to move our stop loss to entry price here and then target a new low hit play. Okay, we've hit the new low there, new low on the trade, and we can exit the position. Again, you can test this yourself on trading view super good super profitable it's just going with the trend and waiting for the signals to happen okay so this would have been another signal here okay going with the trend Stop loss again. Not you don't want the stop loss here. You want to stop loss maybe above here. So we just put our thing in here. Now because this is, we just really want to be targeting a new a new low in this for the first target, and then see how far we can take it. So probably target a one to one. <clears throat> so that's it. Hit play. So we want to see this drop down to a new low to take our first uh, position off. So hit two, play. Again, we would have been up a little bit further here. Our stop loss is up here. Okay, this looks like a stop out. No, not yet. And it's so important where you put where you put your stop in these positions. Just pause here. Okay. Kind of around this time we've seen in the previous day, markets kind of slow down here. So just hit play.
Again, again, towards the end of the day, markets slow down. Moving sideways. And as you can see, okay, so towards the end of the day, this moved down. So we just take them off. So that probably wouldn't be a break even day, break even on that position. A good trading day. Due to our other trade earlier. And this was the trade here. You can see where we had the stop loss, but it didn't get hit. Okay, we'll do one more trading day. Just so you see how it works. Let's fast forward. <clears throat> okay, start of the day. Daily charts. Again, daily charts are clearly down. Just move these. Down. Down. Okay, daily charts are clearly down. 4R looks like it. 4R is the same. So we'd be looking to sell the market in this session. Okay, both. So this should be a good trading day. Let's see. Okay, so this would have been our first sell signal of the day. Again, it's probably but we already had our first target. So we'll just look at this. As we're trading real time, you would have been entering a signal on the close of this candle. Stop loss, you want not above this high, you kind of want it above this swing high here. Uh, First target would have been a new low, which spiked down to. Then we'd move our stop loss to entry and just see how far we can go down here. If this can take out a new low here, new take out this candle low, and we would say this is a profitable trade. <clears throat> okay, it has. So that would have been a nice, another nice trade. See it move down. The back testing went a bit fast for that, so okay, signal didn't stay. But you can kind of get what I'm getting at here. It's super easy to follow. Just following the trend. Does require your focus. You're getting two or three trades a session, and if going with the the trend, you're going to get nice uh, setups. Okay, there we go. Here, okay. So again, another trade missed. Well, on the back testing, but in real time, you would have been entering a stop loss above here first target here okay previous swing low then second target a new low which is it's just hit okay in the first candle so first one here you move your stop loss to anti price again you can if you want to take a bit more risk I like to just when it hits the new low I like to get out <coughs> But you can continue on, just let's see. Again, look at that, this market is plummeting down, but you can see we're going with the trend, and these would have been great trades in real time. 
Right, again, it's simply just closing or entering the trade on the close of the candle. Now, this one you would have had plenty of time to get into position, but it's just being fast, close the candle, hit the trade, and as soon as you're in the trade, you can adjust your stop losses and your take profits, and then trade the market. <coughs> Super simple strategy, but very, very effective, and you need to use the indicator with it. Okay, we could have another trade here. Okay, so this would be another sell signal here. 9.15, kind of want to stop loss above here, above this high here. First target this low, then a new and then at the second target a new low so you want it above this high here the market could spike up just above it see there might be stops above here just kind of want it out, out of the way a little bit hit play Okay, there we go, pause the market. Okay, I didn't even enter them trades there just because we haven't entered the other trades. Okay, but this again here did pop up. Like I said, it did spike above these highs and then did, if you did have a tighter stop loss, you could have got in the second position here. It would have been the same target and then the second target, a new low. Hit play. See, just going with the trend. You can see how the market works. Once it takes out the new, the low, a little bit, it retraces back up, and hopefully we can get another signal here. <clears throat> well, that's super simple strategy. Coming up to lunchtime, so you don't really want to be entering trades at lunchtime. But this would have been another trade here, okay? If you want to take trades over lunch, but again, you would have been well, it's half eleven, so you could really enter this position. Stop loss, you wanted a bit above here, you kind of want because this is a bit too far. These highs here, so just a little bit here. This one could get stopped out. First target here, second target new low. Let's see how it plays out. We should see the market slow down a little bit here. Coming into lunchtime. <clears throat> Personally, as you can see, coming into lunchtime, market slows down. Like most likely, I wouldn't have taken this position. Uh, definitely, if it's moving like this here. I would have just uh, closed these positions out, went and got some lunch, cup of coffee, uh, relax, then wait for the next session to start. So we just skip forward. Okay. This would have been the half one, usually that when it kind of starts. So again, check the daily. 100% down, we kind of know we're down in this already. Just from going from it, so we're looking for pullbacks and sell positions in this uh, session. Some water. But Ethan, looking at this trade here, okay. If you did get back early, you were still you were trading at lunch, back early before lunch, you would have had. Stop loss above here, enter the market. First easy target would be here. 
Second target, new low. Okay, so it would have been a, a nice profitable trade if you're in that anyway. So we'll just hit play again. See how we go in this session. So I think every trade we've taken in this trading day has been very, very good. I must point out that you only want to be trading this uh, method if you can really define, get a good definition of the trend. Say the daily and the four hour uh, charts are kind of choppy. Moving sideways, you kind of can't really get a gist of the trend. So you kind of want to move on to something that is trending. That's the only issue with this. But it kind of always, always is a trend on the higher, lower time frames. <clears throat> Okay, this could be, it's gonna be a trade. Okay, it is, okay. So stop loss, uh, what are we not doing here? Stop loss, kind of wanted above this. This high here. Let's see how the market plays out here. <clears throat> Target targets here, second target, new low. So we'll see how it plays out. Fast forward a bit here. And this one would have been a stop out. And you could have been taking profits here because this did move nearly 10 pips. Oh, we missed another trade there. So just pause here. That one. Either could have took the profits at this low here, but again, I would have been targeting this one for the first easy target, and it would have got stopped out. So here we are again. Now, you would want stop loss. Good bit above here, kind of target. I want to target these kind of highs here. Anywhere where the market's likely to bounce. First easy target would be kind of in around this area here. Let's see. And we're coming in that time of end at trading day, so likely I would just probably be looking to close this very soon. It, it is breaking down. Just hit the pause. Okay, so kind of wanted to come to around here. What, what was the entry price? Uh, Four thirteen. Yeah, just down to around here for the first easy target, then a new low. Let's see. Right, and that would have hit the target. Well, not yet, roughly. Just let it see. So it's just making its way down, Edgy. So basically, I, this is the end of the trading day. Okay, we're at 8 o'clock UK time. This would have been end of the US session. You another profitable trade. So if you look at this trading day, great trades, this one. Boom, this one going with the trend. This one again, lunchtime. And this one again, another nice trade.
first target, second target. <clears throat> this one would have been the losing trade. Uh, it would have been 10 pip loss. Uh, these ones made up for it. And then this one with the find the, the trading day, finish the trading day. Okay, so. So as you can see, great strategy works uh, magic. So again, key concepts of the method. You need the indicator, which I'm going to tell you how to get it in a couple of minutes. And sorry, in one minute. Again, it's very important. Start the trading day 6 a.m. GMT. You want to be looking at the charts to identify the trend for the day. Look at the daily, the 4 hour. Best trading days are going to be when the daily and the 4 hour are, are in sync, as you've seen with the last trading day there. But always go with a higher time frame. The daily is looking down, and the 4 hour, I think it's having a short retracement. I'd still be looking to sell the market and vice versa if it's a bullish trend. You're only looking to buy the market. Okay, the start of each session. Uh, again, re uh, identify the trend because you never know the daily trend could change. Always look out for news. Okay, at the start of each session, sometimes there is a lot of news, especially with the US session. And then simply follow the instructions in this video. Test it first on Trading View. You can test it with uh, the replay method to access the indicator. Absolutely free. Going to do a couple of things. Is simply there will be a link below in the description area of this video. We head over where you'll be able to enter your email and you'll get an email asking for some details which is basically to follow me on TradingView, the FX Ace and then sending me your TradingView ID. You'll get my email once you've uh, followed the link below. So hope you enjoyed the video. Looking forward to hearing your results. If you have any questions, just put them in the comment section on YouTube here. Don't forget to like and share and thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video well over pips and gains.